I'm at the uh, site of the Alden House, so the house where John Alden and Priscilla Mullins were uh, lived originally, uh, well, after the division of land, but uh, I, I'm about to follow this path down towards the first site, so as it says, to first site. It's not on their property um, anymore, but I guess the Boy Scouts have allowed um, access via this path, so let's go! Quite pretty. These are turning yellow. Um, there's not going to be a house when we reach the end, but there will be a, a pegged out location that will show the original foundation. Hmm, coming to a clearing. That looks like a soccer field. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> hmm. Well... Okay, so I just came out from the clearing. There's another sign on the other side says to Alden House. Um, and based on the description, I think I have to cross the soccer field. Which is a little weird, because there's practice going on. But, uh... We'll see. And I will uh, stop recording while I walk across the soccer field. Okay, so now I'm crossing the other edge of the soccer field. <laughs> to this mound over here with the tree and I'm seeing some stakes on the ground um, let's see the marker over here looks like those are the probably going to be the edges of the foundation let's go look at what the marker says first site of John Alden House, built 1627. That's when they first did the division of the land, because they'd been here for seven years. So, the marked out areas. And I guess when they ex excavated this site, they found a bunch of basically garbage, but uh, very interesting historical garbage, because I saw a lot of that inside the uh, house. That was pretty much all that was left. So it turns out all of the furniture was sold at auction because the, the society didn't have enough money <laughs> in 1955 when they took over the house. But that looks to me it. So uh, that ends another interesting uh, hunt. I did not think it would take me across the soccer field. Well, I just showed you the first site and uh, this is the location of the long-running house. Um, come up to the back here. Apparently that 1653 date is erroneous, but uh, somebody attributed it randomly in, I think he said, the 18th century. And uh, everybody just, just kind of stuck. But, uh, so this is the house. It's gone through various remodels including a rather quirky, amusing story that I'll probably try and cover later. And so I went in to take the tour. And that's where the kitchen came. One last little bit, because I just noticed that as I was leaving, John Alden House is the only structure standing today that was built by, lived, by, lived in by, and in which Mayflower Pilgrims died. 